We may yet have some people trickling in here. Uh, as you regulars know, we set aside an hour for these uh, speaker series sessions. So we'll go till 1 o'clock today. And hopefully we have a presenter who has a few minutes to linger if you have additional questions. But we'll uh, have a presentation followed by questions and answers. And I hope you enjoy it today. Uh, as so many of you know, uh, this will, 2017 marks the 50th anniversary of the Jazz Festival at the University of Idaho. Uh, it was eventually named in honor of the jazz great Lionel Hampton. And uh, over the years, it has undergone a number of organizational format changes and changes in leadership. Uh, we are looking forward to this year's concerts um, and, and under new leadership, uh, this exuberance that's presented by the uh, co-advisors, co-directors of the Jazz Festival, Vern and Vanessa Seeler. We're lucky today to have Vern as our presenter, and I want to tell you just a little bit about him. He um, is a professor of trumpet and director of jazz and artistic advisor for the Jazz Festival. Uh, he earned his bachelor's degrees in music, oh, excuse me, jazz education, oh, jazz studies in music education, is that right? Okay. Uh, at the University of North Texas in 1990, and his master's degree in jazz studies there in 1993. His doctorate is in trumpet performance, and that's from the University of Illinois in 2005. Uh, and before coming to the University of Idaho and joining the faculty in 2006, he was on faculty at the University of Washington, Baylor, Illinois State, and Millican Universities. He teaches trumpet studio, jazz innovation, jazz bands, jazz history, and advanced jazz methods. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's added some more uh, <laughs> obligations to his repertoire. Uh, Byrne has performed with the likes of Natalie Cole, Rosemary Clooney, Freddie Hubbard, Ronnie Millsap, the OJs, and Dee Daniels, among many others. He, he has performed in settings that range from big band venues to cruise ships, Disney World, recording studios, and symphony halls. In addition to teaching, composing, and now organizing the jazz festival, he maintains an active performance schedule. In uh, 2005, Vern hosted the Carmine Caruso International Jazz Trumpet Solo Competition at the University of Idaho, and he uh, is looking forward to hosting that here at the University of Idaho in 2017. So hopefully he'll mention a little bit about that that's coming up this fall. 